If do you have a top five or is that too hard for you? I do my top five inch influential. Mm-hmm. Oh, influential, who's that? The people that influence. Yeah, me. like who who who's on that list? Melly Mel. Yes, sir. Rock him. Yes, sir. Public Enemy. Mm-hmm. Ice Cube. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. Then it get. Then it's it's it's. I don't know. I, my favorite group is Mob Deep. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, Mel, Mel. Uh, he changed the trajectory of hip hop. Like when people were just talking about parties and stuff. Right. When he did the message. He put a message into the record. I no one. I, I'd only heard just fun rhymes. I never heard something serious, and so that was like. And then he did B Street Breakdown. He's talking about Mussolini. Yeah, and you can't man. Look at, I was like, yeah, okay. that was that was like the second verse or the second run through on B Street was like a history lesson for me. Right. So that was Mel. 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 Mel was that. Rakim was just the flow. I never when I made Ryan Pays. Uh, Rakim was the record that was hit. Ryan Page, the album or the single? The album. Okay. I was in New York in uh, every rec- every car. I came in the door. Yeah, I man. said it before. I never, never let, let the, the mic, mic magnetize me no more. And I ne- the way he was rapping, mm-hmm. I was like, yo, then he, then I know you got soul. Then oh, he, yeah. Did, did, uh, I ain't no joke. And oh, I was my like, God. He couldn't miss, bro. His rap was so intertwined with the beat. I was like, got to get my shit tighter. I got to, you know, that's influence. Influence, yeah. like, you know, I can't leave out Schooly D because Schooly D right. influenced six in the morning. Right. You know. Hey, man, you know, it's a trip about Schooly D. I was on Schooly D years ago, right? Mm-hmm. But I didn't even put Schooly D and Ice T or six in the morning. And is it PS, PS, PSK? PSK. PSK making that green. People always ask, what the hell does that mean? I didn't catch that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Until six you in the morning, police at yes. my door, and then Cube did "Boys in the Hood" are always hard. hard. So Schooly D was like, he's rapping about Parkside killers. He's rapping about street shit, and everyone was rapping about party shit. So when he did that, I'm like, okay, that's a green light. Plus, he wasn't yelling. Everyone was yelling on records. Right. Here's this nigga, PSK, we making that green. I'm like, who is this people fly motherfucker? Asked, what the hell does that mean? Peace yeah. for the people who can't understand. I'm like, that. that's hard. And he's so smooth. Even when he threatened you one by one, I'm, I'm knocking, knocking him out. out. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> put my pistol up against his head, said, suck ass nigga, I should shoot you dead. I was like, okay, this is that. So PSK, so... Then I, what else I say? I said, um, um, Cube. Yeah. I've been known Cube since before I think he was even rapping. You know, he used to come to my shows back in the day. And uh, I seen him go through CIA. I yeah. seen him go through all the stuff. But when when Cube laid them first bars is straight out of Compton, it was like, yo. It was like, to me, it was like a bomb just went off. Like, that was the, the greatest intro I ever heard in hip hop, you know, and 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 honestly, Cube is what made them coin our music gangster rap because before pro- it didn't have the title gangster rap. What what was your what was the label? I was going to reality rap, but okay. it, I knew it wasn't truly reality rap because everybody wasn't living my reality. Right. You know what I loved about your stuff too is if you made it to the third verse, like the first verse, we like, oh, man, we getting this money. Second right. verse, oh, we partying. Third verse, we got locked up. We got killed. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like man, cut out of this. Cut out of this. Yeah. No, when Cube said straight out Compton, crazy motherfucking name Ice Cube from the gang called yeah. niggas, he t- called them the gang, and the press said it's gangster rap. And we said, all right, cool. You know? And that's when I said, okay, well, if it's gangster rap, I'm the original gangster. Wow. So let's do that. Let's. That's what we're going to call it. Well, who set this shit off? So that's how it went. And then, hey man, I love when you say your boy said, hey, "Ain't you ice?" That shit sound like him. So I yeah. sat back, thought of a new track, didn't fantasize, kicked the pure, pure facts. facts. Yeah, motherfuckers, motherfuckers got, got scared because they was unprepared. Who would tell her how it really was? Who dared? A motherfucker from the, the West, West Coast, L.A., South Central food where the Crips and the Bloods play. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was it was a moment of, of of me realizing like this is what I need to do. You know. Don't don't rap like them. Yeah, do, do you this. and stuff? Who else? I said. I said. I said. Q. You said Mob Deep. Yeah, Mob mm-hmm. Deep. Public Enemy. P. E. P. E. Made us black. 
Yeah. P.E. made me think, okay, we could talk this shit, but you got to say something that helps the people. Let's talk about it. And that's where you get NWA Express Yourselves and, yeah. uh, and Ice-T being political to an extent. My Thank man Chuck D said the follower of Farrakhan. Yeah. And when you look at, even now, when you look at P.E. concerts and you look who's in the audience, mm -hmm. they talk their shit. And, and that's the same with Karis one that edutainment. But, but Chuck said also the follower of Farrakhan. Don't tell me that you understand until, until you, you hear, hear the, the man. man. Yeah. So, you know... Uh, Panther Power for on you know uh, 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 and Rebel Without the Pause. He's talking about pa Panther Power. Mm -hmm. I mean, the energy of Public Enemy and the Bomb Squad was just like oh my know. lord. And then think about it, Cube when he left NWA went, went to, to the them. Bomb Squad, right? Yes. Yeah. So and then Mob Deep, they just took you. The 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 whole energy of Mob Deep was just so gangster and so and it's so apolitical, like them. It's nothing about positivity. It's just right. straight gangster. <laughs> yeah. It's just straight the done language. But I think music is entertainment, and when you want to go there, right, you go there. When you want to, when you want to see a horror movie, you go to Stephen King. Right. When you want to go into the darkest of the Queens Bridge and all that whole stuff, and just the production of of uh, Havoc and Alchemist, who's from out here, mm -hmm. and all that. They have a whole different energy. It was like if you're going to think about who makes the darkest, hardest gangster music, it would be Mob Deep.